Hey y'all, it's a great spring day. I hope everyone's enjoying it out there. Um, I know I certainly have. If you can see, I've been outside today. We got out early this morning, um, stopped by Home Depot, got a few flats of flowers. I have a lot of weeding still left to do. Just getting the yards ready for springtime and it, I, I don't know what it is about digging in the dirt that I love just about as much as I love putting a needle to thread. Um, so I've had a great day. I had a wonderful weekend last weekend. I took off to um, for an overnight trip with my friend Mary over in Georgia and Natasha Stitcherella and Donna, Stitcherella and Donna, they met, me, met, met there as well. And we always, we, we spend weeks ahead of time planning what we're going to start, what we're going to do. Mary plans our meals because um, she's a wonderful cook and we exchange gifts, just random little things. We might kit up a small or uh, floss tags or things like that. We just enjoy our time together. Um, I'm going to show you in a few minutes some of the projects that we worked on that we decided to start while we were there. Um, we also made plans for our next meetup of what we were going to stitch then already. Um, we all kind of complain about how many whips we have, but at the same time, it never stops us from making plans for the next meeting. But, you know, what? what's the point of us buying all these patterns and all this fabric if we're not going to give them a, a start? And I have been collecting for years, and I had patterns and fabric, and floss kitted up, and just... You know what I mean. So to each their own. Um, but anyway, I'm going to show you the projects we worked on. I've already finished one. Um, Mary gifted us um, with the, um, this is a wooden box from Hobby Lobby to finish one of the new designs out of the Christmas, was it the Bells on Christmas Day? It's the new Blackbird release from Market. And this is the piece, and it's in the Unbroken Song. I made a couple, sorry, that was my back. I made a couple changes to it. Uh, there was some white in the center of the flowers. They were um, Smyrna Cross flowers. And there were whites in the center, and this was snowflakes, so they were white as well. And I didn't like the look of it, so I just used the lighter, the pink, that is also used to stitch the D and the G. It's used very sparingly in the pattern, so I used it here as well. Um, I like the look of it. So our plan is the next time we get together, we're going to work on this. We're going to finish it up. Um, we're going to paint these. I'll probably have mine painted before we meet next time. And uh, she went ahead and cut up the mat board for us to mount this on. She gave us the batting to put beneath it. She even had the sandpaper and everything to, needed to finish this, but we got so sidetracked. On Saturday night, we actually did a virtual stitch with um, Julie from Reflections Needlework and Lisa Kindred Stitcher. Um, there was very little stitching done. I think we were with them for about three, three and a half hours just talking, and it was wonderful. So if you guys have not stepped out and used the um, app, which not an app, within Facebook Messenger, you can do meetups and video meetups. Um, that's also how I talk with my son Jacob, who is stationed in Italy. So if you've not used that app, take the opportunity to do so and meet some stitchers that you would otherwise not get a chance to stitch with, even though we didn't stitch. There was too many, too much laughter and too much fun, and um, I would love to do it again. I just had a great time. Okay. When I last saw you, I was working on Faith, Hope, and Love um, by the Work Basket, and I've worked on it a little bit more. I've actually gotten a good bit done. I was taking this to work at lunch, and it amazed me how much I was actually able to get done. I think the when I left you last, I was doing this border part around the left-hand side of the cross. Um, and I, that week, I was able to finish the right-hand side as well as the cross itself. So I love how this is working up so far. What I will begin to work on now is a repeat of these bandings here. We'll go down this side, and then I will start love. 
And I'm, I really like how this is turning out so far. And I love that it's going to be a horizontal piece. Um, it's going to be long and narrow, but it's going to be a beautiful piece. And I look forward to eventually having that one framed. I had a question on my last video about what color I was using. And I'm just using a DMC. And it's $37.99. And I have it on the floss tag here. And this is something that I knew that I'm doing. I have been taking floss tags. I've been making them and they look like this. Um, but what I've been doing is using one that has not had the holes punched for the thread and putting the name of the pattern, who it's by, and when I actually started it. And I put on here, it's, uh, this was a main, I had to look it up. And that's where Instagram's great because I was able to look up when I actually started it. And I started it on May 10th, 2018 for Mania. So I put that on there. And I even put the linen on it, 36 count platinum, which is one of my favorite linens. All right, what else have I worked on? I've also worked on Sally Spencer. I plan to, I, I, let me go back. This is my first finish of the year. I stitched very little to none last year um, in the last half of the year. Um, I did a lot of crocheting. Um, and now I'm back in my stitching again since I've been making the videos again and watching you guys. This was a stitch along from last year. And Candy from Candy Stitches had kind of challenged me on one of her videos to work on mine. And I've, I've been, you know, kind of challenge, not challenge her in her, but maybe just giving her a poke with my little pictures of my updates on this. And this is where I am so far. So I think since I last showed it, I have worked on this row and started this one as well. And I have worked down this side. So I will be working on this tonight and I, wanted, I would like to finish it in the month of April. So this is gonna be my focus piece or at least that is my goal for this week. I like shiny, shiny, bright, sparkly things, and when the next shiny, bright, sparkly things come, come along, then I'm sure that I'm going to change my mind. Okay, what is in this one? Okay, I've not worked on that one, so I'm not going to bother you with it. Um, this is another piece, In last July, when we got together at my friend Mary's, we all started, did we start it? No, I think we ordered it to start after we returned home. And so I made a little bit more progress on this. And it's mainly this area here. And I think I did a couple of the letters, maybe C and O. And I think I showed this in my last video. But anyway, here it is again. And th I'm going to show this one to you because it has been a while. I didn't get a chance to work on this at Mary's this past week. But this is a lavender and lace. Look at all the DMC for this. It's one of the Santas. I love her Santas. This has been one of my favorites for a while. I think he's Woodland Santa. Let me see. Yeah. No, Santa of the Forest. So I made a very small start on him last July. And that's about when I stopped stitching or ceased stitching for a while. And when I say a small start, you can see that it's a bear. It's the outline. It's the outline of a bear. Yeah. So when I go to Mary's, I kind of pack up things we've done in the past. Like the first time we met, she gave us a cup, you know, non-spill cup for us to sip our drinks from there at the table. Um, I always take that, uh, which is great as stitchers. So once you get laughing, you never know. Accidents happen. Um, and so I always pack that up, and I pack up anything that we've worked on together in the past, and even though we didn't get to this one. Now this, this is a So Much to Love bag that I bought after our meeting last summer, because Mary has many of these on her, her shelves in her room, and I was inspired to get one of my, my own. It, like I said, it was a So Much to Love bag. I love this. You can find her shop on Etsy. And what I put inside of this, I have never stitched a Paula Vaughn. Um, so we all decided to use Paul to um, start a Paula Vaughn. Where's my pattern? 
sorry, uh, I don't have my pattern down here, but it's a small start on Job's Tears. And I think it goes like this. This is the start of the curtains in the window. And I wish I had the picture to show. Of course, it is an oval-shaped piece. And it is a sewing machine, an old Singer sewing machine, sitting in front of a window with a white lacy uh, sheer curtain. And the quilt Job's Tears is being worked on there. And I wanted... Initially, um, we allowed or asked Mary's husband, Andy, to pick patterns for each of us to do. And he picked larger ones. And ha not having worked a polyvon, um, I didn't have the particular pattern that he asked, uh, he picked for me. And when Mary showed pictures to me of you know, from the pattern, the cover, and I saw the amount of back stitching. I just, I know me, and back stitching bothers me a bit. I don't care for it. And I was concerned that if I started it, I would never finish it. And this piece is relatively small. Um, I, I think it's a little bigger than a 5 by 7 frame. I would probably need to put it in an 8 by 10 But I think it's something that I could push myself through. Um, so anyway, so I changed up. I thank Andy for making that choice for all of us. That was a lot of fun seeing what he would choose for us to stitch um, based on our personalities. But um, I'm sorry, I had to make a change. These are all the threads for that little piece. Now, I've got them on. You may recognize these. For some reason, it seems like scrapbooking is kind of phasing itself out, like cross-stitch does. Everything kind of circles around in cycles, and it's cycling itself out. At our local Hobby Lobby, I was unable to find ring binders, and at point times in the past, I've bought small bags of the ring binders, and I was racking my brain to... I didn't, or I didn't even look on Amazon. For whatever reason, I didn't think about Amazon. And I know that I can find them in Joann's, but they're either the three or four inch. They're the large one, and it's one per pack, and it's like two, three dollars, and I'm not willing to pay that. And I remembered about these old shower curtain rings, and I thought those will be perfect. So I start looking for them, and I'm looking for them in like a family dollar or dollar general. I can't find them. I walked in a wall, couple Walmarts, couldn't find them. And one day, I'm in a Walmart, and I find them, and there's one peg of them. And they're 99 cent for like 25 or something. And I snagged a couple of bags because I knew that that was going to tide me over. And so, like one of my gifts to... My giggles this past weekend was I used these rings and made a few floss tags for the new starts that we were making. And I try to, to keep the theme, like if it's Christmas, I'll do Christmas tags. Or um, at one point I had done St. Patty's Day tags and that kind of thing. But anyway, if you're looking for a, a cheap, easy way to store your threads on floss, you know, with floss rings and you can't find them, here you go. Or you can just use Amazon and you can buy bulk actual rings, but here you go, that's what I did. One of the things I was gifted was this pattern from Donna, Stitch Along Donna. Um, she kitted this piece up for us. We worked on this last time we were Mary's at Mary's, not this particular piece. But Mary had gifted us with the hardware bowl, the pattern, and the supplies to make I think the spring one, it was it was a wreath of flowers in it, and we actually stitched it prior to, I'll take that back, we started stitching it the first time we met with Mary, and when we came back for the second time, we actually finished it up together and put it on um, the hardware bowl. So Donna gifted us with another piece that we're going to, once we finish this one up, which should be before our next get-together, we're going to finish this one up and we'll use it on the same bowl. So there's this. Thank you, Donna. And I've never stitched on that polka dotted thread thread fabric, and I'm looking forward to it. 
So what else? I think in my last video, I showed you some of the new bags that I got from Olivia at Pumpkin Hollow Quilts, and she has a store on Etsy. I really like her bags, and I actually bought a couple more. And they come in this week, so I bought this one. I love this. I love that brown, taupey, khaki colored. And this one. When I saw it online, I didn't expect it to be aged, the white to be aged, but I'm glad it is. I like it even better. So if you're not already watching Olivia, go over and give her a look, Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. I think she just put up a new video this past weekend. She's also got a, new, a couple of stitch alongs. She's playing with Canopy Stitcher, which is uh, Deborah, who's also a mutual friend here from Floss Tube World. So, um, go over and check her out. I know one of them is going to be another Sally, you know, Sally Spencer again. So hopefully I'll be done with mine by then. But if not, I will join in with her. And the other one is going to be a Blackbird Designs. I think it's Bowl of Cherries, and that's going to start in June. So go give her last video a look. And if you have those patterns in your stash, um, we'll show her some support and start along with her this summer. So, um... There's that. And so inside of this one was one of the starts we had chose to do this past weekend that I did not start. I, let me take that back. I started it, didn't like the looks. I should have known not to start with white. I ripped it back out, but we were going to make a market start. And so we've learned not to make a start on the same pattern because we don't always all have it. So now we have been kind of just naming the stitch alongs, and this was just going to be a market stitch. So I start, was going to start this piece. And I'm not going to show you the threads or the fabric because I ripped what little bit I started out. I started up here and you can barely see it's white. I didn't like it and I took it out. And the other one was... Yes, this is Midnight in the Garden. You know what? Sorry about that. Midnight in the Garden. See, I made an assumption that the front would be opposite of the back, and it's not. I showed this one in my last video as well. There are four colors in this pattern, and I think they are mm, Vicki Clayton hand-out silks. And I decided to choose some of the Victoria Motto colors and stitch it in monochrome. So this is the piece. And this is my small start. And I am in love. I am in love. I say that about all my pieces. But I really like this. And this is called um, Flow, Light Flow is the name of the color. And there's also a dark. So if you've not checked out Victoria Mod Motto uh, threads on eBay, go take a look. And she also has some patterns. When I ordered these threads, I also ordered, um, I want to say, two of her samplers, which I still haven't shown you. I've still been shopping. I still have my largest bit of market, market haul still to come. Um, I hope to get that taken care of tomorrow because I called to pay for it and ended up ordering a couple more pieces of uh, things that were not market releases. But, and I wanted uh, Julie to kit them up for me. And I got word that she's going to have it ready. So gonna call tomorrow so hopefully by my next video I can show you my market haul and it's probably much of the same things you've been seeing with everyone else but I'm excited about it <coughs> excuse me um, I've got a couple things I was just gonna show um, this right here I can't remember the name of it but Mary had this um, it was actually her mother's and she wasn't using it so so that I could push through my polyvon quickly. As you can see, I've made a few. These are the only colors I used when I stitched that curtain. And she get, gifted this to me that night, and it came in really handy. It's the first one I've ever owned. Um, 
and I look forward to using this more. I can see where this is going to be great. So, um, talking about it that night, I also learned there's a seller, and maybe I'll tell you in the next video who the seller was, that can you can get needles in bulk, and it's, it's a seller on eBay. And I'm just thinking random generic needles, and no, there were Bowens. I love Bowen needles. That's what normally I buy. I go on there, and I think it was $9.99 for $25 of them so I ordered some this weekend and hopefully I'll get those in and I'm going to use them to help me when I stitch my Paula Vaughn. I also got this book light. This was one of the gifts that Donna gave us as well. So I've used one of these before and you can see the holdout in the clamp there, the hole in the clamp. It's going to be really great for working when you're on a Q-snap and you're in an area that doesn't have a lot of lighting. I've had these before, but I had broken my clamp, so thank you, Donna. And we had a lot of fun that night. I had bought this from the $1 store prior to going to Mary's. And we had a lot of fun with this because you just write on it with a dry erase marker. What, what initially did we did was write on there the different patterns that we were working on. And... As you roll it, it wipes it away. It was a lot of fun while it lasted. And then we decided it's a little boring. So we worded things a little different. Like I think um, Donna has to be quiet for five minutes was on one side. And another side was prank call Juliet Reflections. And another side was get up and do five squats and we had a really good time playing with this little one dollar dice from the store um so this will go in my basket for when i come back in july and um i hope we have just as much fun with it then so anytime we just kind of got bored or there was a lull in the day we just rolled the dice and had a lot of fun um i also picked these up this week on etsy not etsy on amazon I was looking for some curved tip scissors. I have one pair. And because I use the pin stitch and I often snip from the top of my piece, I'm very careful that accidents happen. Not that I'm claiming I want them to happen. I'm claiming I don't want them to happen. So I needed another pair because I've obviously put them in a whip somewhere and cannot locate them. So I ordered these and it was like $12 and maybe 12 for both pair, which I thought was a really great price. I have not used them yet. These do not have a curved tip. The pink ones have a straight tip. The teal has a curved tip. And I hope to give you a review on those maybe in the next video. I'll be using them a little later. And what else? I think that's about it. I don't have anything else going on. Yesterday afternoon, I did go to spend the evening with, or late afternoon into the evening, with my closest friends, Dawn, Karen, and Kendra. And uh, Dawn's friend, Elizabeth, was there with us as well. Uh, Kendra cooked us a delicious lunch, and they had been stitching. I, I arrived a little late because we had plans yesterday morning, and um, they were stitching. And you're in a group like that, you're talking more than you're stitching, so I don't think I put it, but maybe two stitches in. But we ended up sitting around 